Hey guys, Jane here. Just uh, had another quick uh, idea for the swarm trap. Something new I'm going to try this year. I wanted to show it even though I made the video already for hanging the swarm traps. This is something else you could try. It's a regular grooved bar frame for foundation. I took a sharp bladed screwdriver and I ran it down here in between this groove and I widened it out and I cut some of this uh, foundation. foundation. Well, I ordered 30 pieces of foundation and they sent me 29 black and one yellow. So I thought this was the perfect time to, to uh, try something with this. I cut it up into eight pieces. They're a little over an inch wide. And I put a groove down here. And you see on this one that's uh, drying right now, what I did. I just put a piece of tape on each end of it there. A little masking tape. To hold it straight up and down in the groove. Ran a bead of this, right? It's just regular uh, heavy duty wood glue. Not the waterproof kind, just the regular. And uh, I'm gonna see if in my swarm trap this will give them this will give them the space to fly back and forth when the scalpies are checking out the volume. It'll give them an, a, a guide for for uh, lining the comb up. I'm gonna see how it works. I've seen it done before by people that are uh, starter strips or whatever they're called. But hey, give it a try. I'll let you know how it works. Thanks. There you have it. Eight frames. With starter strips. On the outside of this box, there's going to be a brood comb, a piece of old drawn out brood comb, an empty piece of brood comb on the other side, a little bit of honey. I'm going to let you know how that works. But another thing I want to mention right now is that I'm just getting back into beekeeping this year. I got rid of all my equipment, everything. I don't have any drawn comb laying around. So what I do have is friends. You know, I got a friend, Jeff. I got a friend, B-Man Sam. It is so important to have friends in beekeeping in your area, preferably someone with more experience than you that's willing to help. A lot of them are. Just go to them, ask them. It's invaluable. That's how I got my two pieces of drawn comb to put in this swarm trap. If I didn't have friends around, I would have been out of luck. So Another difference about this, this second set of... Uh, swarm traps I'm going to hang is this time I'm going to use a full 10 frame high body beat. and I'm going to give that a try see if it makes any difference but what I want to show you I, did, I didn't explain this in the first video that you got to coat your woodenware with something because it's very expensive you want it to last as long as you can make it last and I personally us being organic farmers and we like the natural as organic method as we can get for everything so for coating my hives I'm not going to use the Thompson's water sealer I'm not going to use anything that's chemical or solvent involved I'm going to use as natural as I can so I try to use just boiled linseed oil you can get a bottle of it it comes in a little quart bottle or a big gallon however you want it you just pour it in a little dish brush it on I put two coats on and to check it out I think it makes a real nice finish on them, to be honest. There's a piece of the bare pine. Really, you could tell that water's gonna get in it and stuff. It's gonna not last as long. But look at this here. After you put a coat of the um, linseed oil on, it gives it this nice, you can't really see with the camera, but there's a shine on it. You can tell in all the end grain of the wood here, that it's not going to soak water in. I just put two coats on there, and there's not a real off-putting smell from linseed oil. Like, I can do this um, right in the house. I'll just crack the window just because, I mean, it smells like boiled peanuts to me. But All right, guys, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. See you on the next one. This is me. This is so funny.